Hey guys, so for today's video, we are going to be recreating Kim Kardashian's original contour routine. So the other day I was kind of like thinking, oh my God, like how far has contouring come? And it made me think back to the time when Kim Kardashian first tweeted that first photo of, you know, all the lines, the contour, the highlight, and all of us went crazy. And I feel like that's what really started contouring and here we are now in 2018 and contouring has evolved so much so i believe that this original photo was tweeted in 2012 i'm actually going to post the photos here right now so you guys can take a look at them so i thought how cool would it be just to really recreate that first original contour routine there isn't any sort of video or anything like that i know scott barnes did her makeup that day but I am just gonna kind of go based off of the photos. So Kim Kardashian's contour was definitely a little bit different back then than it is now. She used to do a super bright under eye, which we don't really do like super bright under eyes anymore, but I figured let's throw it back, do a really bright under eye, super contoured face. I tend to not really contour too much with dark shades, but in this photo, it looks like she really goes in and wears super dark shades to contour. So we're gonna go ahead and test it out today. I feel like it's gonna be really fun just to throw it back to the good old Kim K original contour routine. So first I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face with the Huda Beauty Pre Makeup Base. So I've watched a few of her makeup tutorials from back in the day and I believe her favorite foundation at that time was the Makeup Forever HD foundation. However, I am gonna use the Huda Beauty foundation. So I'm gonna take the shade Baklava and just apply that all over the face. This is one pump. So now we're gonna work on the super bright under eye. I know what she used to do was draw all of the lines on her face first. So that's what we're gonna do. Normally I kind of work one step at a time, but I'm gonna take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Sand. So I know she takes the concealer and brings it all the way up here and bring the highlight all the way up here, which I do always do all the way down the side of the nose and really bring it down here. Now she does bring it down the side of the mouth, down the nose, really up this entire and on the chin, but kind of in this type of shape. And I actually don't see any on the Cupid's bow. So to contour, I'm gonna take the Fenty stick in the shade Truffle. So I know that she always contoured in a three motion and she actually still does that. So that's what we're gonna do. We're going to apply a three. And down here. And in the photo, she really brings the contour super close to her mouth. So next I'm gonna take the KKW contour stick in medium and I'm just gonna take the darker end and contour the nose. She brings the nose contour close all the way up to the brow and all the way down. And actually tucks it all the way in and under. It also looks like she has some contour around the lip So I'm gonna start working on blending out this concealer. So what's good about actually letting your contour and your concealer sit is as the product sit into the skin, it gets more pigmented. So your contour will definitely be super glam by the time you blend it out. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure why, but it looks like in the photo that I have here, it looks like her concealer is still fresh and not set here in the center, but everywhere else underneath the eye on the smile lines and the chin is set and baking with powder. So that could be because her makeup artist, Scott Barnes at the time, wanted to um, set the eyes before they creased really quickly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do that, skip into setting the eyes really quickly and then blending out the contour. So for baking, we're gonna use the Laura Mercier powder. I know that her current makeup artist, Makeup by Mario, loves this as well. If you guys follow my channel, then you know I don't bake like ever. I've baked once and I wasn't a huge fan, but today we're gonna try baking. So she has baking powder all the way up here towards the outer and it goes all the way out here, packed on. Like it definitely is not lightly pressed, it is packed on there in the crease of the nose, a little bit on the sides of the lips, and on the chin. So now it looks like she's gone into blending out her contour, but then leaving that cheek part there. So we're gonna blend out all the contour, but leave the cheeks to sit a little longer and do the cheeks last. I am just blending this out with my e.l.f. 103 brush. I love this brush for cream contour. 
So I am actually gonna blend this out by pouncing the brush. I'm not gonna rub it around too much because I don't wanna move the foundation underneath and I don't want it to get patchy, so I am just gonna kind of pounce and bounce at it. And don't forget to blend it up into the hairline. So to blend out the nose contour, I'm gonna take the KKW brush Okay, so now I'm looking exactly like the photo. The only thing left now is to blend out the center, dust off the baking powder, and blend out the contour. Okay, so so far I'm feeling super glam, but I will say that the um, inner part was really hard to blend because it just sat for so long. So I do like the idea of like letting it sit so that it can get more pigmented and it can come out more of a glam finish, but I don't think you should let it sit for too long. I mean, I had to stop and like take selfies for the thumbnail and everything, so it sat for longer than it probably would have or should have. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind if you're gonna kind of recreate and just test out this look. Only let the concealer or cream product sit for like, you know, max five minutes. So now let's blend out the contour and I am gonna try to blend it upwards. I don't wanna bring it down. But I can kind of see why you would let the baking powder sit there because it kind of protects the under eye first so that you don't get the contour on there. I am gonna go in with the KKW Beauty Brush and since it is just small and really dense, it's gonna get on that line and really help blend it out. So I mean, I personally do feel like the contour is a little bit too close to the mouth. I do like to bring my contour, you know, further down than most people just because it really helps keep that face snatched and making it look slim. But I feel like that was super close to the mouth and it was like that in the photo. Um, so I personally just wouldn't put it as close to the mouth. I kind of just want to like take this and like clean this up almost a little bit. So now I'm going to dust off that baking powder. I'm really curious to see how this under eye is going to look you guys. By the way, I'm using the Morphe M500 to dust this off. It's like the perfect dusting brush. Whoa, it is bright, you guys. But again, I mean, I had to stop and like take selfies for a good 10 minutes. So I probably let the concealer and the baking powder sit longer than I should have or than you kind of would. So just keep that in mind. But I, you know what? Like, I mean, I'm still finishing it up. But overall, I feel like this is a pretty glam contour routine. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm kind of feeling it. It definitely isn't every day, but I feel like if I ever have a day when I wanna be super snatched and super glam, I could go for this, but just a version, like a little tweaked version, like I probably wouldn't go as bright on the highlight and I wouldn't set it for as long and wouldn't let it sit and bake as long. But other than that, I mean, I'm feeling pretty fly and pretty snatched and baked. So I do wanna finish up the face with setting with some powder. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. I'm just going to set that, that cream just so that it doesn't move around throughout the day. Also, don't mind my forehead is a little bit patchy on this side, but that's just because I'm like having some dry skin in that area. So as for the rest of the look, I found this photo from that same day. She tweeted like a before and after, and this was the after, so this is the completed look. I'll actually post the photo right here so you guys can see it better. But it's just a really simple look. She has a super smoked out under eye that kind of really wings out. So what I'm gonna do is use a trick that she actually uses now finish up this look by taking the dark side, which is the other side here, the dark side to the contour stick, and I'm gonna put it all the way underneath the eye and kind of wing it out and bring it out here. And I'm gonna put a little bit of that all around the eye. I'm gonna take my finger, blend out the top part, For the eyes, I'm going to take the Kat Von D palette again, take this dark brown, and we're going to really apply that underneath the eye and get that super smoked Kim K look. And again, just bring it out a little bit. I'm going to switch over to this brush here, grab a little bit more of that deep brown, and attach that kind of like flare that we did, bring it up, and attach it to the outer area. So it actually looks like she doesn't have any highlight on, but you know me, I can't live without some highlight. So I am just gonna put just a little bit, not much. So it does look like she has a little bit of natural colored blush, so I'm gonna take Wet n Wild Mellow Wine and just apply that right in the center. So I just popped on some mascara because it doesn't look like she's wearing any falsies in the photo. So I'm gonna finish up this look by doing my lips. I figured I would do it on camera just to share with you guys what lip I'm using. I'm gonna be overlining my lips with the NYX Natural Lip Liner.
And then I'm going to top it off with a little bit of gloss. You guys, I literally just discovered this is my new favorite combo. These glosses are amazing. I love the formula. These are the Dose of Colors glosses in the shade Honey I'm Home and on repeat. So that is pretty much it for the recreation of the original Kim Kardashian 2012 contour routine. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something. Let me know if you guys also try to recreate it and test out this routine and let me know what your thoughts are. Overall, I really like it. I feel glam. I feel snatched. I would just tweak a few things. I wouldn't do the under eye as bright and I wouldn't let the powders and the contour and the concealer sit as long. I would probably do like max five minutes. But other than that, I actually really like this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it would just be super fun to do, switch things up a little bit, keep things interesting and fun. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like, thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe down below if you aren't already. And please sign up for notifications by clicking the bell icon right beside the subscribe button so that you never miss any of my new videos. Other than that, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.